Hey, welcome to the Red Room with Fat Fabes. I'm your host, Fat Fabes. We've got a a, a special guest now. This man uh, in 2015 got a golden buzzer from um, um, Simon Cowell at uh, Britain's Got Talent. But he didn't win. What a waste of a golden buzzer! He didn't win it, but you know, like they say, failure brings success. Because he came in number six. And I don't remember who the top five were, but I know who he is. So there you go, boys and girls. Failure brings success. So let's bring him on the show. Please give it up for... I need to know how to pronounce your name. Is it Callum or Callum? Callum. Callum. Callum, yeah. Callum Scott. <laughs> Welcome to the show, man. Oh my God. Did you just introduce yourself as Fat Fabes? Yeah, it's P-H-A-T. It's pretty hot and tempting. Oh, there we go. I see. But if I have to explain it, then it's not working well. <laughs> I was like, wow, he's self-deprecating. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, well, pleasure, man. Thank you for having me in the Red Room. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you know, uh, anyone who comes into the Red Room uh, will leave a happier person. Yeah, that's not what you said off air. <laughs> <laughs> so, Good you know, you, welcome to the show. You've been Thanks. traveling a lot. Um, you must be really tired. A little bit. A little bit. I mean, I can't complain too much. Yeah? It's a, it's a great job, man. Uh, I'm sure it is, right? Great job, man. Yeah, you, you sing, you make a lot of money. And yeah. you know, everyone fusses over you. It's like I bet if you turn right now and say, I need a cup of coffee, black, not so hot. Boom, it's here, right? Boom, straight there. Well, there's one there, right? There, there you go. There you go. <laughs> dude. So it must be tough, you know, moving from one country to another, sleeping in different hotel rooms, different beds. Uh, do you rest well? Are you well rested? I feel, do I look well rested? Uh, I, well, yeah, you look red. It's the, the, the red's bouncing. Yeah, yeah, and it's definitely the sun that we don't get in the UK. Uh, do you know what? I, I do sleep well, um, depending on how much I pay for a hotel. Right. Um, I do sleep well. So what's, what, what's your favorite sleeping position? Do you like uh, to sleep on your back? Or... I like to be on my side in like the fetal position. Fetal position? Oh, dude. Like can little... we do it this way then? Of course, yeah. Oh, man. But but I don't think the camera can get us. So <laughs> I, I just, I laid on Cullum Scott's lap. <laughs> What are you going to say about that? Comfortable, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it was, right? Comfortable, yeah. Great. Okay, let's just move on, man. It's getting a bit awkward here. You know what I mean? Uh, You're starting to sweat a bit. I'm not going to lie. You had some really good food in Singapore? I did. Yeah, we went to You're like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a luxury brand okay. versus a luxury fake brand. I see what you're saying. You, you, you know what I mean. So there's the luxury brand here in Malaysia. Oh, the luxury brand is here. But I know I've heard that people have been trying to feed you. They have. You I must... just had some quay actually just now. You, you see what I mean? Just had some quay on there, on there. One of my favorite things I've eaten. Now, okay. So so you've been away for a while. Yeah. Uh, you're from Yorkshire? I am from Yorkshire. Right. We've been doing it. Born in 1988. Yeah. October, October 12th. Wow. I'm October 11th, 1970, year of the dragon. Libra. Right. Libra. There you go. Uh, okay. Dragon. And you must be missing home. I am, yeah. I'm missing family. I'm missing my mum. Um, I'm missing having my laundry done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that stuff myself now, like an actual adult. Uh, so that's the reason why I, I don't want you to miss home too much. I'm going to feed you a little bit. Okay. 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 But I'm going to give you the best of the best what Malaysia has to offer. Okay. And at the same time, give you what you probably are missing okay. from home. All right. So we are right now going to feed you with some Yorkshire pudding <gasps> with sambal. What sambal? What sambal? What is sambal? Sambal is the red stuff you eat when you eat nasi lemak. Have you tried nasi lemak before? Oh, yeah. I've tried nasi lemak. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Look at these Yorkshires. I know, right? <laughs> That's like the whole country is it's so big. <laughs> okay. There you go. Beautiful. So now. Oh, man. I miss Yorkshire puddings. You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't want to eat it with that because that's probably what you eat it with all the time. But Great. this is the sambal. That looks terrifying. Now, dude, don't worry about it, man. It's all good. I'll eat it with you. All right? You're, but, you're, but like you look like you can take the heat. Well, I will. I, no, I can't. I really can't take you the heat. You can't? No. Don't let this fool you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're sat wearing a suit in the worst country ever. I know, right? I'm sweating like that's no tomorrow. Yeah. So you want to use fingers or you want to use a uh, fork and knife? Do as the Malaysians do, man. Do there you fingers. go. Okay. okay. So take just break a little piece off. Okay. All right. Oh, it's been a long time. This oh, is like crisp. Ooh, you guys have done quite a good job on a Yorkshire pudding. Not like my mum's, but it's very close. Okay. Very All right. Close. 
Gonna try dip it in the red stuff. stuff. Dip it in the red stuff. This is called the sambal. Okay, I'm going to try it with you. Okay, Just trying to catch the uh, uh, our manager. Uh, sorry, you can see okay. that I'm in trouble. Okay. Okay. Not too much, now. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'll be god. too late. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Here we go. All right. It's not bad, actually. Oh, this is really good. It's, isn't it? Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's coming in now. You feel the heat? Yep. Oh, yeah. But is it still good? It's still delicious. Wow. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever had a Yorkshire pudding, but I, I can say, Captain Gorkley, in my 30 years, 35 years of life. <laughs> with sambal. I've never had it with sambal. But you, it's not bad. You're going to take it home. I'm going to go again. There you go again, man. Go again. I'm going to go again. I'm going to go again with a little bit more, actually. Go on, man. I want to see this. You said... It's delicious. Dad, I've got a name for it. Okay. Kafa. Kafa. Kellum Scott. Ka, ka, Kellum. Fabian Fa. Kafa. Kafa. So if you're going to rip this off and put it on your menu, we're going to see it. You better call it Kafa. Yeah. The next time we go to a restaurant, and we say, recommend something to us. And it says, would you like to try the kafar, sir? What's that? It's, it's your Yorkshire pudding, pudding with sambal. sambal. Done. And if, they, and if they don't give us our credit, we're going to find you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we are. Jim, we're going to throw Yorkshire puddings at your head. I'm but just going to keep going. You, you really, you really, you really I'm not going to stop that. I'm, your, I'm missing Yorkshire puddings, man. But this new stuff, I mean, I hope nobody from home is watching me because they'll be like, sacrilege. I'll get home and they'll pass <laughs> out. Until they try it. Mm. You know, they try, try kafar. There you go, until they try kafar. Okay, so you, you just keep munching away while I ask you a couple of <laughs> couple of questions. I guess this is going to be a makan-makan session. You know, they don't call me the makan guru for no reason. Uh, so, you know, you've told us about your favorite sleeping position. Uh, you know, you had a good time eating in Singapore. Now you know what the real deal is. Kafar, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I got it. I got it. Uh, the <laughs> studio audience. I like it. I like it. Live audience. <laughs> Live audience, man. Love that. Now the thing is this: in 2015, you came out, you sang somebody else's song, you you moved to you moved to the final round, and then in 2016, you took somebody else's song and you made it your own, and that hit the Billboard charts. So my most important question to you is then: um, how many words do you really need to know to write a song, man? You just copy somebody else's. That's what I did. I was like, oh, that's already a song. I'll just take that. Isn't it? No, yeah. Do you know what? <laughs> Sometimes you can overthink it. Mm. Because for you are the reason, mm-hmm. it's it's a very simple song. Right. I climb every mountain in and I swim every ocean. Mm-hmm. It's very like, it's, it's quite simple. Right. It's not, you know, we're not trying to reinvent the dictionary there. Right. But that seems to have translated so well, especially across, oh, it's getting hot now. Um, <laughs> water, 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 water. And <laughs> yeah, the chili's just kicking in. Okay. Um, that, that for me, that song has transcended language, transcended culture. Mm. I think even if you don't understand the words of the song, you still understand the sentiment of it. Right. So I feel like sometimes the simpler, the better. You know, we're all in the studio going, oh, is that the best word? How can we, should we, if we say this? And you try so hard to be clever. Right. And then you just, you know, I, I, we, with you are the reason. It was so simple, but it's... it's, it's so writing songs uh, are not meant for clever people. Just, just, right. I got, I, well, so, don't twist my arm. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, don't put words in my mouth. No, no, I'm, well. um, you <laughs> you've already put the Josh Pudding with Sam Bali in my mouth. Yep. Um, you know what? I think music is to be enjoyed by people of all um, right educational. Of course, groups. of course. <laughs> Saved himself there. <laughs> so Woo! you were at the you were you were at the concert because you were invited by Ed Sheeran, or oh. did he pay you a lot of money to come? He, a little bit of both. All right. Ed Ed is is is, is helping me with my pay my bills. Right. But you know what, Ed's Ed's so cool. He's a great mentor. Mm-hmm. He's somebody that I look up to. Mm-hmm. I'm inspired by. Mm-hmm. I literally watch his show and I'm like, oh, oh, he does that. That's that works. Okay, let's see, let's see what else he does. I'm just learning from him all the time. So when you go on a tour, you're going to give him a call, and dude. You want to open for me? Yeah, imagine, <laughs> uh, Ed. I'm uh, I'm playing in in Hull very soon. Do you want to come in? <laughs> but that's what people message me on Instagram. Really? Bring bring Ed Sheeran with you to Hull. I'm like, I don't know if Ed Sheeran is down to coming to. Hull. Yeah, come on, man. It's your hometown. It's your I mean, home ground. I love a Yorkshire pudding. You have like what? All of... How, how big is Hull? The, well, there's only 250,000 people. Oh, 250,000. That's all right. There's, there's not too many people. 10%, 250 people at a concert. <laughs> Small the gig. That's my, that's my Sorry, gig. That's, that's my gig. <laughs> right. 
Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, so one of your biggest hits uh, you did with uh, Lost Frequencies. Yes. Uh, where are you now? Where are you now? So where are you now? I'm right here in the red room, man. Right here with you. I'm but in your life. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was talking base level. Yeah, yeah. In my life, I feel like I'm the happiest I've ever been. Right. I feel like I'm more confident than I've ever been. Right. I feel like I deserve to be here. Right. I've worked hard. I've worked hard. But I also pay gratitude all the time. You know, but people like yourself mm-hmm. spreading the word of Callum yeah. across the world. That's helping me, you know, stay in this job and doing something I love. Okay, cool. It's uh, probably yours single-handedly doing that for me. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> this content's going to go. Wanna... <laughs> Another Yorkshire pudding down. <laughs> So did your did your fans have fun last uh, Saturday night? Yeah, man. It- Everybody who was messaging me on that on that night was just like just had so many lovely words to say. Right. It almost didn't happen because of the lightning and the rain. Right. But it did it? Did we happen. got it? We got it. I got a question though. I mean, what do you call your fans? I mean, Lady Gaga has a little monsters. Yeah. Taylor Swift has a Swifties. Swifties. Are yours called Scotties? They are, yeah, they are. Beam me up, Scotty. Yes. We, wrote, we I have a flyer, right, that has a QR code on this, like right. a marketing thing. And we we wrote, beam me up, Scotty. And then one of the team said, oh, I don't know if people will understand that reference. Mm. You just said it right now. Exactly. So I, I've missed a trick in Malaysia, man. The, uh, the, we we, we know we know it. And you know that there was it was never a line in any of the Star Trek. Never. He never said beam me up, he Scotty. Ne- it was made up by somebody. I've been lied <laughs> to all of my life. Yeah, it's just like, you know, you believe in Santa Claus. All right, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I read somewhere that you had a tribute band, a Maroon 5 tribute band with four members. I mean, we you must them. really suck in counting, right? It's like, dude. <laughs> Bro, there were four members of us who was like, what should we call ourselves? Like Crimson 5 or Scarlet 5. I was like, bro, Maroon 4. There's four members of us. It was like, oh, yeah, yeah. And we were going to take over the world, man. We were going to take over the I mean... We're about to kind of off Maroon 5. Right. <laughs> and we was going to take over the world. And it's hard to sing his songs, man. I mean, it was it's it was difficult. fun singing like This Love and right. Sunday Morning because these are like my favorite karaoke songs. Right. She Will Be Loved. And then he released Sugar. And I was like, I'm gone. This is going to be Maroon 3. You guys, <laughs> you guys are on your own. I can't do this anymore. What's up? They still, they still, they still perform, apparently. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They, they, they're I'm somewhere around here. Yeah. <laughs> I regret wearing a jacket, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so hot. Man. It is so hot. So hot. Oh, you're going to look good for the camera. Uh, <laughs> so one, 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 uh, one very, very important question. Yes. What were you doing before 2015, man? I mean, oh. trying to get bands like Maroon 4 and Maroon 3 together. And Maroon what, 3. Who was uh, Callum Scott? Callum Scott back then. Back then. Do you know what? It's so funny because when I'm doing those stadium shows with Ed, I have little flashbacks to when I used to work in my day job. So I used to work in human resources. So, I know. Really? I used to work in an office not, not not too far from this. Did you have like a really bad boss? Yeah. Where you could pick up the phone and call him and say, you want to know where I am now? <laughs> yeah, I know. Where are you? Whilst, we're, whilst we're here. If it wasn't so early in the UK, I'd do it. Um, but yeah, I used to be sat at my desk, used to be sitting, taking complaints about parking and and. Like all this really boring stuff. Right. Now I'm out supporting a chair. So it's pretty it's pretty drastic life change, I think. It's amazing, isn't but it? Do you know what's so funny is what? When I uh when I got signed, mm. I was so I have the I, I still have my brain in that kind of like working class Right. Work so, mode, nine so to I, five. So yeah, so my brain I was like, Oh, if things don't go well, I'll 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 go back to my day. Human resource. So I took a year off. Right. I, I said to the, my employment, I was like, we did this thing called a career break. Right. So I handed in my career break form. I went touring. My song went almost to number one in right. countries all over the world, and I was living my best life. A, a full year after that, I got a letter in the post that said, "Oh, so we're expecting you back at work on the fifteenth of." And I was just like. I am not, not coming, coming back. back. <laughs> I'm not going back in, man. It's, I mean, it would have been I crazy to go back, right? How could I? Yeah. I almost feel like I should, though. Just for fun. Just go and say hello to them. Yeah. Sign a couple <laughs> of autographs. You'll be all right. Yeah. Like, this is a, you know, how do you stay grounded? How do you really stay grounded and true to yourself with all this chaos going on around you? Yeah. Um. I've got a follow up question for that. But first, okay. how do you stay grounded? Visiting the Red Room is keeping me grounded. Thank you. Come here anytime, all the time. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't want to leave crying. That's yeah. the main thing. This video must hit 100,000 views, right? Yeah, or I'm going to be tortured. That, yeah. <laughs> um, do you know what? I feel like staying grounded is, 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 is more about making sure that you stay connected with everything that happened before. Right. You know, so like all of my best friends that I knew since school, seeing my mum and my sister and my nephew, spending time in my hometown. That's why you keep wanting to go back to human resource as well. Yeah, that's why I just got a pining to go back and do spreadsheets, man. You Don't know forget what? where you come from. Yeah, 100%. When I'm on that Excel spreadsheet, I'm like, <laughs> reminds me of home. But I feel like I feel like doing all that stuff kind of keeps me connected to like my life before all, all this stuff. Right. And like this isn't a, it's not real life, you know. I'm going out and I'm doing something I love. I'm making a living out of it, seeing to tens of thousands of people. That's not like a sort of real. It life. is it's crazy. Go read Ikigai. It's exactly what you're doing. It's a Japanese concept. Yeah. Of how you do what you love, make money, and at the same time, make uh, help other people. Yeah, what you're doing. Well, yeah, I'm, I I feel like that's the biggest compliment I get when people say you've helped me or you've you've helped get me through some stuff or right. we played your song at my nan's funeral or we played your song at my wedding or whatever. Right. They're the biggest compliments I get. It's better than any number one or any accolade. Absolutely. But now you're Cullum Scott, right? And and there's a lot of chaos around you in the sense that, you know, everybody's fussing over you. Everybody wants you to, to be well to so that you can perform tomorrow night or day after tomorrow night or whatever, right? How do you know what's real? What if somebody comes up to you and says, I'm in love with you? I mean, is she in love with you or is she in love with Kellen Scott? Well, this is it. It's like, is she is she in love with Clark Ken or is she in love with Superman? Exactly. Do you have that? I got 20 questions first. <laughs> how, how, do you ha- how do you handle something like that? You just got to... I mean, it's weird, man. This business is so weird because some people can be really chill. Like Because if you've got no strategy at all... Yeah, yeah. You I know a few people who are really in love with you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I planned it out well. <laughs> they're, they're all in this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously. No, but yeah, I think it's it's weird, man, because you're in this industry. Yeah. Some people are really chilled and, and cool, like yourself. Yeah. Very like, Calm Scott, I don't really know who he is, but yeah, cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And then you've got other people that like sh- trembling and like losing their minds. They stay at the venue for four hours before you get there yeah. and they... Buy everything that you like. You get some people that are really, really like fantasize. So it's like it's strange, like the balance of it. Right. Because I've had fan, I've had some p- particular fan moments that right. are quite. Tell us. <laughs> so I, I went and did this uh, in the th- thing in the UK called Ladies Day, and it's where a bunch of ladies get together. They have like an afternoon tea, and then they start having drinks and like sparkling wine, and then they should entertainment. I <laughs> I freaked out for a bit the last. The last video I watched, Ladies Day, was not some dude singing. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. wow. Slightly different. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I went to a Ladies Day and it's just full of women. Right. I performed. I sang a couple of songs and then, and this was quite early in my career. So I was still like, still just a little bit of bunny corn headlights. Right. I just didn't really know what I was doing. Sang a few songs. Then we did a meet and greet and there was a line of women, met everybody, hugs and whatever. And then there was this lady that was a little older. Mm-hmm. And she came up to me and she said, "Oh, Callum, I love your songs." And I said, "Oh," and she was like, "Give us a kiss." And I was like, "Oh God, oh God." But then she was an older lady, and I thought, "I don't want to be disrespectful." To right. Her. So I went to give her a little peck, and she put her tongue down my throat. <laughs> oh, whoa! I'm telling you now, she, this lady must have been about sixty-five. Whoa! So I was just like, "Wait, how old is your mom?" My mom's sixty-five. Oh. <laughs> So I was just like, oh my God, I'm like, I'm like look at the guy that, and he eventually parted us and she was very happy with herself. Of course she was. She was very happy. And I was like, I will not get that taste out of my mouth without some sambal. And yeah. And no more ladies day, man. <laughs> no more, <laughs> no ladies, more day. ladies day. No more ladies day. It's wild. I got one very important question to ask you as well. All my questions are really important. Do you know Tom Jones, man? I don't know Tom Jones. You don't know Tom no, Jones? No, I don't know Tom Jones, but I've got a couple of friends that want to go to a show, so I think I'm going to join them. You're going You're going to be at Tom Jones? Yeah, in the UK. Yeah. In the UK. He's coming to Malaysia, though. I saw. Yeah. While I was walking past the um, the Petronas Towers, right. there's adverts for Ed Sheeran yeah. and then adverts to, for Tom Jones. And I actually He's went got my haircut in True Fit, right. which is the yeah. case there. And they were playing Tom Jones all the time. Do you know what Tom Jones song? I call him Scott, though, which I... Yeah. <laughs> Do you know a Tom Jones song? I'm only asking this for the people who are watching who don't really know who you are, but they know Tom, they know Jones. Tom Jones. Yeah, so maybe... Well, does, he, it, does he sing the... Um, I mean, Tom Jones is like a, is like a swinger, isn't he? Like a, he, 
Not he, a swinger. Though. Not really a swinger. That's yeah. Um, that's uh, slightly different. Ladies' days. Cut the tape. Cut the tape. Where um, have you been, man? What am I trying to say? He's a. He's he's like um, he. I don't know what they call. It. I don't guy, know what they call. Like, it. Like, like Rat Pack. He's quite like um, just embarrassing myself here, guys. But, but do you know? Do you know a Tom Jones song? Any song? One line. Green, green grass of foam, which is the oldest one that I know. Uh, it's not unusual to be loved by anyone. He does know Tom Jones. Yeah. They, oh, really? oh, with the trumpet and all. Trumpet and all. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a big Tom Jones fan, as you can see. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. It was such a pleasure having you here, man. Thank you. What a pleasure, man. All right. And uh, we can continue eating. <laughs> yeah. Why not? All right. So, Colin Scott in the house. Uh, it's kaffa. That's what he's eating right now. It's uh, Yorkshire pudding with summer. All right. Enjoy. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. <laughs> right. all over me. Ah, he's got sambal all over him. Oh, God.